Hi everyone, my name is Erin and I'm going to be talking about the books that I plan and want to read in February. Will I do all of them? Probably not, but that's not the point. So, February is actually kind of a busy month and it's a tiny month, um, but there's Contemporary Athon is happening and Black Athon is happening. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go through the books that I have planned for both of those. And then I'm also going to do my TBR jar. Is it cute? Did you like it? I didn't plan that. So I'm going to do the Contemporary Athon TBR first. The Contemporary Readathon is going to be Monday, February 11th to Sunday the 17th. That's being hosted by Chelsea Dolling Reads and my reading is odd and uh, some other people whose name I'm forgetting and I would super duper apologize. There's an Instagram to go along with it as well. And there are seven challenges basically as well as Instagram challenges going on right now with, for that. I have four books chosen for the Contemporary Readathon and I am using the word contemporary loosely. The first one that I have picked out is Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. So this is a hard-hitting dark contemporary as well as having a diverse character and it's also a book that I meant to read in 2018 and I'm really really excited to read this. It is pretty thick so I'm a little nervous to get it finished but I'm really really excited to read this one. This also is going to apply for Blackathon. Um, it's basically it's a black author writing about obviously a black main character. This book is about a young girl who goes to school and notices that her best friend Monday is not there and it's her looking for her best friend and finding out what happened to her and I heard it's very very emotional and I am a little concerned but really really excited to read what happens. Next book I have on my reading list is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ning. I have read Celeste Ng before. I read Everything You Never Told Me. It's one of my favorite books hands down. This tells the story of two families whose children become um, inter intertwined and so the parents become intertwined and it's basically their stories and how they get there and why they make the decisions that they make. I don't know if you can hear that but my boyfriend's playing a video game and he's not doing super well. So this fulfills the challenge of having a picture on the side. I'll zoom in closer. It's basically the cover just continued on to the side. The next book that I'm going to read I do not have a physical copy of and that's They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Uh, so this is I'm going to be reading on an audiobook format which is a non-traditional format for one of the challenges. It also has Blurple on the cover and it's the most recent contemporary book that I bought. They Both Die at the End does have kind of fantastical elements, kind of sci-fi elements. Basically these two young men uh, receive a call. There's something that's worldwide, countrywide, where you'll get a call the day you're gonna die and you're told that you're gonna die and it's the journey of these two men who are told that they're gonna die and their last day on earth together. Um, I'm very excited to read it. I already did start it, uh, spoiler, because I bought it for a plane ride so I did like, get like an hour or two hours into it but that was a while ago. I haven't read it since so I want to really get it done. Audiobooks are kind of a challenge for me that's also kind of the one that I'm most nervous about finishing. I don't know what it is about audio uh, audiobook like formats. They're just found out they're not really for me. I'm very very picky. I do love this audiobook so far. I think the narrators do an amazing job. I think they really like just really they are the characters and I'm really excited to finish that and see where it goes. It's going to hurt me. I know, but I am excited to read it. And so yeah. I think those are all the challenges, I'm pretty sure. So it's most recent contemporary, a book with blurple, a diverse contemporary, a dark or serious contemporary, meant to read in 2018, a non-traditional format, and a picture on the spine. Those are the seven challenges and those are the books that I'm going to be doing to fulfill those challenges. However, I do have an extra book and I planned on reading this one to fulfill some of the other challenges and then I realized it's not actually super contemporary and that is The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. So this does have blurball on the cover and it does have pictures on the side. It's just like a continuation of the stars that are on the front. Uh, so this is not a contemporary. I have found out after looking at like the first two pages. It's set in the 70s. Um, however, I really really want to read this so I think I still might like sneak this in. Uh, just at the at the end of the week if there's time for me to finish this because it's kind of really tiny. Um, I really want to get this uh, read in the month of February. 
So as I said, it is Blackathon as well, and that is the entire month of February in honor of Black History Month. Um, and I'm gonna put all of the names of the YouTubers and everyone who is affiliated with both readathons um, in the description below, so everyone will be properly acknowledged. <laughs> so I do have one of the challenges, which for Monday's not coming, as I said, by Tiffany G. By Tiffany D. Jackson. So that is a black author, and you read a black author's book. Um, so that's one of the challenges that I am fulfilling. And there's also to read a graphic novel who have black main characters. Rat Queens does have a black main character. It is actually a group of four women, if you can see, and they are a diverse little group here. And they're just some awesome, um, honestly, I don't know. There's some awesome warriors who have to battle some things. When I went to the comics, so I'm very, very new to graphic novels. Um, I've read Watchmen and I used to read manga as a kid, but graphic novels and comic books as of now are very new to me. I don't know that all. I don't know that much. I don't really know my taste yet. Uh, so when I went to the comic book store, my local comic book store, I asked the people there, they were very helpful. Um, I was like, I want a comic book with a black main character and I don't want superheroes. Like I don't want Black Panther. Um, and they definitely had some suggestions for me. But the girl who picked this out, she was like, well, it's not just a singular main character. It's a mix of characters, but it's really, really funny. It's kind of tongue in cheek, like fantasy with like dirty jokes. And then as the series, series progresses, it gets more serious in tone. Um, other than that, I don't really know the plot and it's like super tiny and I really love the art. I think it's just super goofy and super cool. Like I'll give like... The beginning of the book has these little like character cards who tell you what the characters are and give you a little glimpse into who the characters are and their stories and I just love that. I think the art is super cool and just super what I'm into so I'm excited to read this. And I do not have this book physically yet, it is at my library, but I do plan on reading Let's Talk About Love. Let's Talk About Love will fulfill the challenge of Feel the Love, which is just to talk about a romance that features a black character. Also fulfill the challenge of More Than a Color, which is just to have intersectionality. So Let's Talk About Woman is about a black girl who also identifies as queer. So I am, I have heard mixed reviews about that book, to be completely honest. So I'm excited to give it a try and just see what I think for myself. Blackathon has two other challenges that I just don't really see myself partaking in. One is to read these spoken word poems that they list for the Contemporary Thon. I'll link them down below. Basically is to share one of them and to talk about what it means to you. I still think I'm going to share them. I just feel I am not a spoken word person. I have tried like poetry and me do not mix. Does that mean I'm close-minded and not trying hard enough? Maybe, I don't know. Mm. But I just, I can't get into it. It's really difficult for me. So I feel like me kind of giving my opinions about these poems that are probably really powerful and really meaningful to people feels not amazing. I feel like I'm kind of ruining the experience. So I think I'm just gonna share them for other people to see and for other people to read and to have an experience with them. Uh, the other one is a, I believe it's a readathon for Poet X. Um, like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not a poetry person. I just don't really have an interest in reading that book right now uh, at this time period, especially with all the other books I want to read this month. Maybe down the long, maybe down along the line, if something changes, I'll give it a shot. But at this point in time, I'm not going to be reading that book. And because I do not have enough on my plate this month, I am going to be picking a TBR jar pick. This is my little TBR jar with all of my books that I have not read. And a lot of them are backlisted, just so you know. Um, they are not going to be the newest releases. Some of them are, but a lot of them are very old, have been around for a while, and I just haven't gotten around to them. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to see if I can get one from the bottom, because I've been pulling from the top, and I'm pretty sure they're all going to come out. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to... They're all going to come out. Okay, so... Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, this is actually... <laughs> that was like a bad reaction just because I've been staring at that book going, I need to read this, but I really just don't have a push to read it right now. However, this is why the jar 
the drawer exists and that is the nowhere girls by something read i'm sorry i don't remember her first name um so that is about a, a group of girls in a community who basically band together to admonish um to punish who band together to anonymously punish the men who rape and harass women in their school some badass women I'm super excited for that and i'm pretty sure they're all diverse which is would be actually really really good for this month so i'm actually really happy that this is what i pulled out i'm gonna try my hardest to read it i did not read last month's pick so but i but it's out it is out there and it's gonna get read very soon <sighs> this has been very weird rambly but thank you so much for watching i really really do appreciate it please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye